there is so much going on inside of the high level ecosystem that I actually do like starting with a snapshot. In all of our snapshots, we include sort of step-by-step -step understanding of how we assembled it, what it's designed to do. Matt, it's everyone's favorite time of the week. It's high level hot takes. And one of the things we started the show, man, you had the idea to just share what was happening right away and just really share your hot takes. But it's turned into something that people come to for really like timeless advice. And so my question to you today is, if you're just getting started on a high level, do you need a snapshot or should you start from scratch? Yeah, this is a great question. I think at this point, there is so much going on inside of the high level ecosystem that I actually do like starting with a snapshot. Now that doesn't mean you go out there and invest in the most expensive snapshot you can possibly find. However, I will say it's like, it's like when you're learning how to draw, it's like asking, should you start by just like inventing concepts and freehanding or tracing? And you're like, I think tracing is a totally legitimate way to get comfortable with understanding the shapes, with understanding like how to draw certain things. And so um, in that same way, you could say related to music, when you're getting started, you know, learning how to play guitar, is it better to just invent your own songs or like learn someone else's song? You're like, probably learn someone else's song. And in high level, all of the interconnectivity of it is super helpful to kind of see laid out with someone else's design blueprint and usually like some form of guides there. So definitely in all of our snapshots, you know, we include sort of step-by-step -step understanding of how we assembled it, what it's designed to do, because sometimes to accomplish a single action, what can feel like a single marketing action or fulfillment action actually does incorporate three areas of high level and has nuance of knowing like, okay, you know, when, when they're talking about a trigger, it's a workflow trigger, not the, you know, the old version of just triggers or, or whatever it might be. Just even getting to understand custom fields and custom values and, and custom values from a setting perspective and custom values that are really more of like contact values. And so I'm not trying to confuse you now, but there is a lot of nuanced language and interconnectivity to accomplish something that might seem straightforward to communicate, but actually could be really robust or from the other side of it, maybe you don't have the ideas. You're like, I don't fully know what a great system for a restaurant would be or what would be super effective for a real estate agent. And so then seeing it designed and, and uh, laid out and explained and taught from here's how you can configure it, but also here's what it's doing can also give you more ideas of what's possible within the system. So um, my encouragement is always set up new sub accounts. I tell everyone this whenever whenever we get started. So we actually, we give away one of our snapshots absolutely for free. I believe you can go to hlpotools.com forward slash high level dash setup. So if you want to get started inside of high level, this is a great way to get started. So we give it to you for free and um, I run through that training. And so it's, I tell everyone, one of the first things is understanding how to set up a new sub account. You're not limited by your sub accounts. It saves you a lot of headache. One of the big errors that I see is people will, get whatever, three snapshots and load them all into the same sub account. That is a recipe for chaos. It's like getting three different, you know, meal recipes and being like, I just took all the ingredients for spaghetti, all the ingredients for cake and all the ingredients for, you know, scrambled eggs. And I was like, I put it all together and I was like, this tastes horrible. Like, well, of course it does. Cause you took three different recipes and threw it all in the same pot and wondered why it didn't turn out great. And so the same thing can happen with snapshots. So create a new sub account install the snapshot fresh in that sub account and learn, explore, get ideas for it. And so the nice thing too is when, when you do this uh, and you understand the snapshot or you understand parts of it, you can actually share and clone over just pieces. Maybe you look like, oh my gosh, there's 50 things in here, but I only really like 12 of them. Cool. Because you took the time to put it in its own place, its own sub account, now you've got the power to decide which pieces you want to clone out of there and, and share or or replicate or rebuild yourself. So just to go to the, the initial question there, I'm actually a big fan of snapshots. That's why we give one away completely for free. Actually, super helpful to get started in a high level, uh, even from the SaaS perspective, understanding from that. Um, but for kind of like a small business or like a SaaS perspective, um, it's hlprotools.com forward slash high level dash setup and uh, absolutely free.